Okay, Liz basically tagged me in this video blog thing, and what we have to do is I have to answer 10 questions that she asked me, and then ask 10 questions at the end, and tag five other people. So, question one is five words that describe me. Um, nerdy, quiet, not usually very crazy unless I'm with people I know really well. Um, smart, decently. Had a lot of people tell me that, usually in a derogatory sense. Um, obsessive, if I find something I'm interested in, it's like all out crazy. And panhead. So, um, yeah. Number two, favorite song and why? Um, I would say Look Away by Thousand Foot Crutch because when I was in high school I ended up, long story short, I ended up severely depressed and was less than a half hour away from killing myself and if I hadn't heard that song I would have. So, yeah. And favorite, number three, favorite childhood memory would be my grandparents on my dad's side lived in Duluth until a year or two ago and my grandma moved down here. Um, and we would go up and visit them and drive like five hours and stay over at their house and we would go down to Lake Superior and I would try to throw all of the rocks back into Lake Superior and get them all wet. I was about four and that was the my favorite thing in the world so and yeah number four what animal would I be if I could be any animal probably a cat I like cats we have the same personality we don't really just kind of do our own thing I guess um they don't really like people I like cats um number four Five, what's the craziest thing I've ever done? Um, probably took my little brother to Sunshine um, last year. Um, and not really sure why my mom thought it was a good idea to let the two of us wander around Sunshine Festival by ourselves. But it basically ended up with me and my 16-year-old brother at a music festival for four days with no adult supervision. Um... And we did all sorts of crazy stuff, like buying energy drinks for our favorite band, and dragging him into the Disciple Mosh Pit, and throwing clover at each other, because that's what we do. Um, favorite prof, or favorite teacher, but I'm homeschooled, so I'm gonna go favorite college professor would be Dr. Ratledge. He is absurdly difficult and if you've talked to me for any length of time I've probably been complaining about having a paper with him. Um, the guy is, he's one of those where it's twice the work for half the grade and drives me crazy. I've had more all-nighters for his classes than for every other prof I've ever had combined. And he's one of those where you want him to go away and you want the class to go away because you have no idea how you're going to make it through the next class period. But then you sit back a month after taking the class and realize how much you learned and how much you grew from it and then end up wanting to sign up and take everything he's ever taught. So I'm on my third class with him out of four. He helped found the honors program so he's got a lot of the honors classes. And yeah, really, really liking it except for the, we have a five page paper every week. That's getting a little much. Um, question seven, one thing not many people know about me. I'd say probably the whole high school thing. I have a lot of people that just plain did not know I was depressed. My mom didn't know until this past summer. Um, it's not something that I talk about a lot until very recently I've started telling more people about it but there's still a lot of people that don't know so yeah um number eight describe a perfect day probably would involve sunshine festival with Liz and Mary and all of my crazy cronies 
um, and it would be arguably the best lineup Sunshine has ever had. It would be Skillet, Disciple, TFK, Red, and Highland, and Fades Away all the same day, which would never, ever happen because if we had all of those people and all of those awesome bands in one spot, the entire universe would implode due to the sheer amount of awesome contained in Minnesota. And the fact that that much awesome can't be in Minnesota because it violates the laws of the universe. So, yeah, that would, theoretically though, that would be the perfect day. Um, bucket list. Do I have one and why? Yes, I do. I'm kind of low on things on it at the moment simply because my number one thing was to talk to Thousand Foot Crutch and thank them for writing Look Away, which I got to do last month and it was amazing. Um, and they are seriously awesome people. But that means I kind of need to find more things to put on there. I like having one because I like having stuff to look forward to and it's usually crazy stuff that would never ever happen in a million years. Like going on a road trip with friends over one over one or two summers to every consecutive music fe every Christian music festival and I know that would never happen but it's still kind of a fun crazy thing and it's just I like having stuff like that to look forward to and to dream and plan about so and then serious stuff too like going to Tennessee eventually um and then the tenth question was if I could pick one book to be mandatory reading for all high school students, what would it be? Probably Lord of the Rings. Um, a lot of what I read in high school I probably wouldn't have other high school students read, but I love Lord of the Rings and it's a lot more challenging than a lot of books, a lot of more recently written books. Um, that was basically what got me through middle school and early high school and I love it I still love it I'm still finding more things in there that I missed and it takes a lot more focused attention than a lot of other books I've read lately so yeah that's about it okay so now I have to ask 10 questions to everybody that I end up tagging. Um, so those are, first, who is someone who has had a big influence in your life, either positive or negative? Could be a celebrity or author or somebody or family member, friend, um, anybody like that. Um, number two, what's your guilty pleasure when it comes to music? That would be somebody you don't really want to admit that you like, but you really do. Um, something like that. Number three, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Um, number four, what's your favorite item of clothing? Do you have like a favorite t-shirt or shoes or whatever and why? Um, number five, what's one bad habit you would like to break? Number six, if you had a million dollars, what would you do? Um, number seven, fa what's your favorite Bible verse and why? Number eight, one movie, if you could pick one movie that has been out of theaters for three years or longer that you would like to put back in theaters, what would it be and why? Um, number nine, What's a song that describes your life or part of it? And number 10, you wake up in jail. Who are you with and what did you do? So there we go. Have fun. I'll put them in the video description thinger. So you have them written down.